Balance changes are here and I am gonna show you 3 of the best meta decks at the moment. Heading into our first game, we are matched up against a Barbarian King and honestly with the Skeleton King changes, he is the best 1 to 7 hero at the moment and honestly for level 8 to 10 also, he is one of the best. I am gonna play the bowler and try to knock off his Barbarian Kings to delay his super. Uh, I totally missed this one. Mini Pega connects towards the Barbarian King and the Skeleton King too. It gets knocked back, Miner is getting connected by the Mini Pekka, our Skeleton King got his soul and just like that we won round number 1. And the bowler is honestly really strong with the new level 3 ability because now you can pierce through multiple enemies while dealing 6 damage. So yeah that's insane. You can just knock off a archer, a healing ranger and any other mini with 6 HP and just take down every other mini. Let's just spread our clash abilities and hope that we can get something out of our clash abilities and mini pick at the back to take care of the miner which it is gonna do and the prince just knocked off his barbarian king for 4 seconds which is enough to delay it super. Uh, our skeleton king got 1 soul which is equal to 12 HP upon revival. The Barbarian King thing is down, everything's down and we won round number 2. And this deck is honestly really strong. The purpose of the clash abilities is to get the enemies down so that the Skeleton King could get the souls and revive with max HP. And if you get 2 kills with the Skeleton King before death, then you can just revive with your full HP. Again, I'm gonna get the plus 4 damage and dissipate on the mini pekka to dissipate that Barbarian King. Although the dissipate is not, not really good so now against the shield maiden you have at least the choice of the shatter or the dissipate thing. Our mini pega connected towards the giant skeleton but everyone escaped from the bomb except the dumb bowler which didn't got us any good value this time. Uh, this time we might just lose maybe. Come on. Archer, okay, Archer is down, we have two souls, if we die, we can revive, but if we don't die, then we will lose. Come on, revival, okay, the, that was a pretty unlucky one, we just had one second left for the revival and we lost. Let's just get the Ice Wizard because he is honestly pretty strong and will be the part of all three decks because it can just control areas with the KO ability, it can just shut down many heroes. And honestly a great counter to countess and every hero which is placed a bit at the back with the splash damage. And his ability is pretty good. Uh, our spirit goblin is low but that's fine. Again we knocked off his barbarian king with our prince which is gonna be pretty helpful. Mini Pekka dissipates the barbarian king. Uh, then the skeleton king is getting his souls and this time we will revive with our full HP. I mean 12 HP but that's fine and that's how you play the best Skeleton King deck. For the second deck we got this Countess deck. This has the Ice Wizard, the Mega Knight, the e the Royal Ghost and the Giant Skeleton. The Giant Skeleton with the buff is honestly really strong and you can obviously see him combine with the Archie Queen. But now this time I'm gonna use him with the uh, countess because I haven't really tested out the queen much while I played some games with countess and countess does a pretty great job with the skeleton king and rc is out of the meta while stuns are pretty annoying rc is out which is a great thing for the countess as the skeleton king counters the royal champion so no one plays the royal champion at the moment while the countess just escapes from the skeleton king super and doesn't get stunned and just dominates the entire board. Let's just place the Eevis and stun everything to get the backstab stronger. Or maybe. Okay, so let's just sell the. What? Let's just sell. I just sold the Ice Wizard to get the Mega Knight with the Dark Armor ability to get more supers pretty frequently. And honestly, that nerf didn't did a lot to the Mega Knight because the. Mini Pekka got nerfed so the dissipate thing just made it a better he mini as compared to what he was earlier and earlier he was just an S tier mini. 
and in my opinion she is still one of the best tanks which you can think of and the giant skeleton it deals a lot of damage it stuns for a while and it just does everything which you need for an archer queen let's just get the freeze ability in order to freeze the wave master which will come towards the um the ice wizard and just waste the time of that now let's just swap the sides so that we might just catch his wave master but he played it things on the opposite side but that's completely the wave master might get super and our account is got stunned which is annoying and everything just got frozen but that might not be enough for this round as the mega knight is down the countess is also dead with the dark goblin and the eve is can't do everything on his own but he still has two more rounds to win which i won't let him now we have eight elixir i forgot to spend two elixir in the last one so let's just overcome it everything on our magnet and hope for the very best and uh, there is nothing really and this new quest are pretty good as i level up my skeleton king to level 7 So now I can play the level one to seven tournaments with a great advantage. Again, the lumberjack gets its potion on the dart goblin, uh, but it is gonna feed the mega knight with the super, and the evis is getting stuns, pretty great value, and the wave master goes towards my ice wizard, and it might just get the frozen. Oh, it. dies before it gets frozen and that's how you play with the best countess deck at the moment for the last deck we have the shield maiden deck and she is my favorite hero as you know this got the battle healer the healing ranger the swordsman the miner and the ice wizard on the round number 1 you must get the battle healer because it will help you keep alive your shield maiden or else it might just get burst down by all the clash abilities and the mini pekas which are roaming all around while the healing ranger in the later rounds plays a crucial role in this deck by keeping everything alive the battle healer just gives a tincture of healing at the start and then everything is done by the healing ranger our shield maiden is going to get revived and pretty good healings from our battle heal battle healer is at full hp this skeleton king revive with almost a lot of hp and maybe we can win okay it's a draw and we got the first kill of the miner and so we won the round and then the swordsman it's going to be on main damage dealer it can counter the miners pretty well the miner it's just going to take care of the back lines like the ice wizard and the archer and the spear goblin too while the ice wizard it just slows the mini pack at the monk and everything which counters the shield maiden at the very front and is once again one of the best minis which you can put your elixir on uh up healing ranger got i mean the shield maiden got knocked off his magic arch is getting pretty great geometry value but our healing ranger is alive with the healings and now we are dominating the battle because the healing ranger just came in clutch and honestly healing ranger is still one of the most underrated minis as she can just keep everything alive the shield maiden is almost at full hp and the round is over with two minis alive that's the potential of the healing angel now let me show you more power of the healing angel let's just overcome it everything on the healing angel this time and show the world how strong we are the only counter which she has is the bowler and the ice wizard the bowler with the damage upgrade really seems to annoy her as she gets pretty low and then the archer can take out in one shot with the bard synergy and the wizard with the anti heal it's just a counter you all know that that's what the purpose of that ability was and our healing ranger is again going to get some pretty great heals towards all the minis and his minis are dying slowly but surely uh swordsman got a pretty good super on the skeleton king skeleton king revives so with only 6 hp and uses his super but that's totally not enough for him to win and the magic arch is going down and that's how you play the best shield maiden deck